Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new Safe Hour, jumping in again. We played as Samuel, Samuel, whatever you want to call him, in the last episode, and this time we are going to play as... Regular Lilith to... We could do... I don't know. Um... Ooh, we've almost done all the Marxists the Lost now. We've only got to do Mega Satan and Delirium. That's, that, is, that, that, that is intriguing to me. That is intriguing to me because... We want Godhead unlocked. <laughs> we had a time in a recent run where we tried to spin down something into Godhead and it didn't work, so... But I, do, I have been playing a Lost a lot recently, though. But I think that's fine. I think you guys like Lost runs, right? I hope you do, at least. So we're going to play as Lost again. Uh, if we want to change over to our um, champion crown, by the way, you, you lose Holy Mantle, but you gain a Heartbreak for the revives, um, as well as Clear Rune and Rune Bag. Uh, you start with an Algis Rune as well, so it's kind of interesting. You die at 12 Broken Hearts. I like the idea of that. Obviously, I'm going to stick with the normal one for now, though. Um... As for the question of the day today, what's been a recent disappointment for you? This is another question that I've asked before, but I just feel like it can change so rapidly and be different pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis for people that it's worth asking again. Because, um, yeah, I gotta say, it's, it's always interesting to hear your guys' thoughts and stuff like that. But we're doing alright so far, we're jumping in. Um, I'm... At the minute, I, 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 I'll I be honest, I'm just, I can't not think about the new PC that I'm getting. It's literally the only thought that is in my head right now. I, I have this, um, oh, by the way, um, yeah, I completely forgot that um, I'm still playing with the thingy mod on. Um, what's it called? The starting items mod. And there, there is a few characters that I did turn off. Let me go through now and just turn off the ones that I, I, I want to turn to false because they didn't save last time. One second. Okay, the settings right now just straight up aren't saving. I don't know why that is, but I'll, uh, I'll jot that down one second. Okay, I've jotted that down. But yeah, this is one of the characters that I think the starting trinkets they gain are really kind of tacked on and don't need to be added. But it's a little bit of fun. I don't mind. Um... We get plus one secret room, and we also get the faded Polaroid. Um, yeah, it's, it, it is whatever. It's not an immense amount more power, uh, but it's just the Lost is already a strong character, in my opinion, that didn't need anything extra, so it's just a little bit tacked on in my eyes. Dude, this room is fucking horrendous. Why does this exist? This is horrible. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why? Why did someone feel the need for this to happen? <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, the, the, the Faded Polaroid, it, it can be kind of good, it's kind of whatever. I really, really, really am not, not a fan of this room existing at all. <laughs> like, at all, at all. These flies in themselves are pretty annoying. I mean, the fact that I have flight is pretty huge here. Like, if I didn't have flight, this would be so much more annoying of a room. I'm going to try and get whatever we can out of this with Petrified Poop. We will see, we will see. Unfortunately, mainly red hearts right now. Hopefully we can get two more pennies here. Ah, really? Come on now. I don't want to keep this the... Yeah, I gotta say, the settings aren't saving right now. But actually, like I said in the previous episode, I really like the mod. I did uh, relay my feedback um, to the developer about um, the time we played as... Oh, come on now. He had to have spectral shots, didn't he? Uh, about the time we played as Jacob, um, and I thought that Jacob and Ezao were a little bit strong. They have a, uh, said they're going to address that and tweak things a little bit so they don't both start with... Um, so they don't both start with a twins trinket. Or, like, both start with the glasses. Backstabbers. Back and incredible. Very, very nice. Okay. Didn't really realise what was going on for a hot second there. Oh, yes, we got Sacrificial Blood coming in. Nice. I'll take a gamble on the trinkets. Perks is good to know, at least. Actually, I suppose it doesn't even matter. Range down... At this range, really, probably not a big deal. Honestly, let me check what's in my shop, because I might want to take one of those cares pennies in the hope that I grab, um... Hmm. Flushette's decent. It's not insane. 
I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm just going to save my money for future flaws and hope for the best going forward. Yeah, backstabber here, really goddamn good. This is the hardest version of this guy, uh, so we do have to be a little careful. I say that as I'm not even remotely careful at all. When he does his bit where he pukes out a bunch of kids, things are going to get kind of difficult. And I think that's right now. Yeah, honestly, this is horrible. So I've just got to weather out the storm here and hope for the best. Oh, oh, the, the bouncy thing. <laughs> the bouncy thing almost got me. Dude, this is tricky. The bouncy lad is uh, causing me some issues right now. Stop summoning more things, please. Boy, that was not ideal. I, oh, really, dude. The re-rolls is this guy. Just never work in my favour. Never work in my favour. I get so unlucky. I mean, I'm not particularly miffed because Backstabber's really goddamn good. So, um, I really don't mind not getting the, uh, boss item, but... Just, I don't really get how the 25% chance is so reliably not... Like, I, I just, I, I don't get it. <laughs> the chances are, are so balked for me. Oh boy, um, this is kind of tricky, but I genuinely think that the loaded D6 is much, much better. I don't think that rolling this will do anything. Also, on the topic of, um, on the topic of stacking items, items that, that stack well with each other, um, Hutz has been doing a little series, um, over the past few days on his channel where he... Basically, so he, he's done he's done episodes on his channel before where he's like, oh, I get um, options. We'll take options. Where he's been doing uh, episodes where it's like, oh, um, every item is this item. But he's recently doing ones where it's like on each floor, every item is and then a randomized item. But too many items just don't stack. And obviously, you guys that have been watching a while know that I had the idea for a mod that makes it so that every item stack, so the vast majority of them stack and have some sort of effect. And someone actually made a mod that made uh, Cursed Eyes stack and said they're up for doing more items, people give them ideas. So I jotted down a ton of ideas um, for that. Lovely. Yeah, I jotted down an absolute ton of ideas for them for uh, items that can stack. One thing I've got to be careful of here is I don't want to take any items like HP ups that will stack but do nothing for me. I want to be very careful. Now, also another thing is Loaded Dice takes preference on items that stack, but it does not exclusively give you only items that stack. So there is a chance that we do get items uh, given to us that don't stack. So this item, I don't know how this would work if it stacks, uh, but I want to take it anyways. Um... Hmm. Let, let me just quickly take a take a hot peek of what pink uh, of what Binky would spin down into. Binky. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Binky. Wait. No. 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 I want to go to Platinum God. Platinum God Isaac. Binky is um, four three eight. So it'd be four three se seven. Four three seven. Okay, no, it rerolls down to the D seven, um, and then four three seven, four three six into milk. Four three five. Yeah, I'm not getting anything good out of this. I should just take Binky, and I'll, I'll pop this as well. Oh, dude, come on now! Don't be a dick. Oh, dude, he dodged every single bomb I fired there. Good thing is, when he moves, like, really far with his teleports, it actually counts as movement and deals damage to him based on the effect of, what's it called? Um, based on the effect of Backstabber. So, in theory now, if I go over to the Eternal D6 down here and re-roll it, it should re-roll into Binky. Yeah, there you go. Now, the only thing about loaded dice, which is a little sketchy, is 
Now we have two binkies, which means we have double the chance of our next reroll also being binky. And that is fine for a little while, but eventually we will hit a cap and then we're going to have a higher chance to get Binky, and Binky isn't going to do anything for us. Apart from give us size downs, which is going to get pretty wild. <laughs> but, I don't know, it could be fun. It could be fun. But yeah, at the minute I think Binky is the only thing we have which legitimately stacks in the eyes of uh, Loaded Dice. And therefore, that's mainly the item we're going to be getting right now. I really wish that the sacrificial blood stacked as in like you could hold multiple of them because it'd be much easier to like pick up and use if you could just like hold stacks of them. Didn't mean to take that bomb there, but bomb is somewhat useful, I guess. Right. I, I love that. Like, I don't know. I think it's um, Repentance Plus that adds the sacrificial blood, but I love the way it works. So goddamn good. Love that. I will open this up just to see what, what's in there. Dude, that was that was very lucky. Uh, we are going Angel Deal here. Again, do not take Marrow because that's an item that can stack that we do not want. We want to make sure as much as possible to stay away from items that do stack that we don't want to stack. Otherwise, we're going to cause ourselves issues. card. Just a hermit card. Pop that just in case. Right. The leech is good stuff. Yet another tinted rock there as well. I will take leech. I know that leech can duplicate and that might not be great for us all the time, but I like leech. Yeah, so on use free rose pedestal items is the current room into copies of items you're already holding with priority items that, um, I, items that stack. And I can't see the rest because of the basement text. Right, away we go. Yeah, we're going for, um, what's it called here? Um, good old Mega Satan. So we, we want to be taking Angel deals here. And yeah, I, I, I do like, obviously, Titan with the Eternal D6. But Loaded Dice is just so much, like, potential more fun. And like I said, if, if this mod comes to fruition that allows things to stack more, it's going to be even better. Now, I'm not a big fan of the way that this room currently looks. I was just about to say, just because there's a bit of a TNT situation going on that I'm not particularly enthused about. I don't know how that didn't kill any of those, but there you go. Such is life sometimes. Do you know what? I'd be happy to have an additional leech. He's doing a fine, fine job right now. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to pop this, see what's what. Um... Ceiling uh, with the stars is, is pretty decent. The problem here is the loaded dice takes, um, I think it's 10 rooms to charge. Is it 10? Something like that. Oh, no, it's, I think it's 8 actually. And we're wasting charges by not finding our item rooms and stuff early. So it's lucky that we got the item room here. That's what I want to see. Now we're not always going to duplicate everything we see. Um, oh, okay. This is a pretty good one. I didn't know if this one would work and it very much does, which is really good. This is just a lot of free stats. We like that. We like that. A lot of free stats is always going to be good for us. Good old sack. We got a glass D100 there. Which is kind of an interesting idea, actually. Because with that, we'd, um, we'd be able to do some interesting stuff with changing up what our uh, stacked items are. But I think it would reroll... I loaded D6, so we'd have to find a way to drop that first. We do need these extra keys. We'll take the blood whenever we can. Like I said, it's just a little inconvenient to take. It'd be nice if it just you walked into him and it used him. Maybe that'd be even better. I know they're already quite strong, so we don't really need to do anything to make them any stronger. But, I don't know, just they feel a little inconvenient. Dude, you had to start flying over, didn't you? Go, my leechy buddy. Okay, we don't have anything to get through there. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, okay. Pay to win is very, very good for us here. Because pay to win, basically, it allows us double the chance to gain good items. Because we can either re-roll into an item we already have and stack things, or 
we can just use coins to reroll into really good stuff. This is all around very nice for us. Health up, good, but unfortunately useless. Honestly, pay to win, not pay to win, sorry. Um, options for the, the uh, room drop options is so goddamn good because of the fact that it will give you options for room drops that wouldn't usually drop like a trinket sort of thing. Like, obviously, there's a small chance you get a trinket on a room drop, but it seems to make it much higher of a chance. Oh, dude, the keys are coming in hot and fast right now. Should have checked what that card was first, really. More bombs here. Lovely. You do your thing, little flying fella. Chest there as well. Okay, remember that I just want to say this guy's going to spawn four things before we can do anything. Okay, let's take out the little guys before we take out the burnies, if we can. Because they're getting really problematic. Apologies for that, we are back one second. Okay, so I've managed to kill all of those guys first, because they were particularly quite annoying to have around. I don't know what the chances of this guy having those dudes is, but... Dude, this is... Oh, god damn. That was a very hard attack that I'm very surprised I did not get hit by, so... Good job. Oh, dude. Perfection. Okay, this is this has made things trickier. Now, this is definitely an item I'm going to, yeah, re-roll. Okay, we're up to max fire right now. So, unfortunately, we're at the point now where getting more binkies is useless, which is problematic because we have three of them. Um, oh, this is tricky. So, we don't have anything currently that perfection is going to affect apart from options. I think I'm going to stick with... How many more rooms do we have? Yeah, I'm going to stick with um, Pay to Win here. I think Pay to Win is just potentially so much more valid and so much more useful um, in being able to get some good items. We've got three more item rooms ahead of us. And I think that's more than enough to, to say that, yeah, perfection is really, really good, but we the, the, the potential chance to get three very good items is better. In the sack room, nothing there for us. But yeah, also now we are on our third binky, we are of a majorly tiny size. Majorly small boy energy. Okay, so changing the shop into like loaded dice is a good idea as well, because then we can choose if we want to buy it or not. Devil card, I've not really... Decided on what I'm going to use that for yet. You know what? Just use it here. Makes it easier with these ghosty boys. But yeah, I'm definitely worried now that Binky is going to take priority over our stacking. And we're going to get a lot and a lot of Binkies that we really don't need. Now this is gross. Thank you, Leech, for, for taking out the vast majority of these fellas, because that was kind of hell. Without Leech, that would have been not so fun. Good. Loaded dice is almost ready once again. Yeah, it's ready. Right, check what we got going on here. So yeah, Acid Baby is just not worth. So we're going to try and re-roll. And honestly, Snake is worth taking. In fact, Snake is a knight, uh, one that I don't know if it'll stack, but if it does, it'd be quite fun to stack with loaded dice. Now, I could have obviously gone hard to try and get something even better there, but I think we don't want to push our luck too much because the thing is, we don't want to expend all of our money. Ooh, wooden crosses. <laughs> we, we have uh, been gifted some very, very, very nice trinkets so far here. Now, Spider Bite would be quite nice as well to grab here. Unfortunately, we did not get so lucky there. I'm trying to grab as much money as I can in preparation for um, our pay-to-wins in the future, because although we got Snake pretty quick there, there's just as much chance that we might get nothing pretty fast. So I don't want to sort of mess things up in that regard. Snake did try to push my uh, thingy out the way there. That's a bit annoying. Keep using our blood basically on use. But yeah, I think Snake is really good because it just it copies our tears, obviously. And it darts around the room and uh, 
does some good damage. Now, it, is, it can be a little slow, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And like I said, it regenerates as well. So all around, I think it's pretty damn good. Money's doing well here. I don't, I don't quite know how you call that a backstab that I just hit him with, but you do you, game. I won't judge. There you go. Nice easy kill on him. That's definitely going to be a reroll. Hey, it's Leech 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's what we like to see. See, Leech is yet another one that I'm really not too mis displeased about having a second one of. Although he can't heal off of Leech, he still does a like reasonably considerable amount of damage. So having two of them is definitely not a bad thing. Even if we cannot heal from them. At the minute, I want to just take pennies. Leading backstab's doing really well. But yeah, I'm, I'm just dreading the moment where we get yet another binky. <laughs> and it does nothing. Because the thing is, if we get another binky, we can't like pick it up. Because otherwise, we're just going to get more binkies. We're at the point now where we don't want a single other binky. But I know for a fact at some point we're going to get one. Uh, yeah, just take pennies at this point. More trinkets dropping. As I said, we're getting a lot and a lot of trinket drops. I, I just don't know why, but it seems this item produces way more trinket drops on rune drop than it otherwise would see. Only thing with Leech is that AI is a bit bad. Like, they should they should just be chasing after that enemy regardless of whether I'm doing it or not. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I see you trying to do stuff. Yeah, this isn't too bad of a room either with the range that we've got going on right now. It's not crazy good range, but it's enough to keep these guys at bay. Uh, we've got a golden chest in here somewhere. There you go. And that's one that we definitely will really see. That's Binky. We just, there's just zero, zero reason to pick that up. Unless we get something that allows us to break tier cap. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. And it's just going to further increase our chance of getting more binkies. So, just not worth. But also, Mum's Underwear was not worth picking up. Because I do not want Mum's Underwear as part of our roster of items that can duplicate. Because that would be stupid. Like, I don't want more range increases, please. This is pretty a pretty gross room here. Did not like that room. Yeah, that's going to happen from time to time, unfortunately. We just got to deal with it. Good. Is this secret room here? It is. Don't really need this money at this point, but I guess we're taking it. Right, secret room, what do you hold for us? Sadly, yet again, nothing. Sure, a secret room that only works with red hearts. Right. Still haven't seen item room yet. Snake's doing a good job of hitting enemies in the back and activating backstabber, which is kind of nice. So I, I technically could re-roll this again, and there you go. Get yourself something that's more valid. I think actually growth hormones, having two of them, will stack towards spun as well. So we can re-roll a re-roll, uh, which is something we want to obviously do whenever we can. Golden chests I'm, I'm definitely willing to open right now, because I was just about to say the chance for HP is pretty high. Now these guys have such a high chance of hitting me. I've got to stay very, very well away from them. Come on, le leeches, can you please have a little bit more range on your pathfinding towards enemies? That that enemy is well within the radius of what you should be targeting. Good, and then yeah, we can leave that there and try and uh, pick it up if we don't get anything else we want. Right, now we've got 50 cent here, so this is, an I this is one where we are going to be... Um, Rerolling this as much as we goddamn want. So, technically, we should pick that up and put it down as a book to gain. 
We're really looking for something that's going to be big for us here. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything big. 120 volt. Not amazing. I'm going to hold off because I'm probably going to reroll the, the lunch first, but... This is kind of gross, this room, because I could so easily get hit by one of these rogue rocks. We got there in the end, though. This is, uh... Okay, this is Necro 1. Okay, we can just go and do this now. Ooh. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. This is, uh, the hardest version of Loki. Basically, he's just all herming shots. And we've got a spike trap in here as well, so... Not a room I want to be seeing, but... Luckily, our uh, group of fellas has taken him out nicely. GMO corn, I do want, but I'm going to take it after the fact, because it can kind of mess you up. And this... This can kind of fuck you over. Um, but I'm going to try it anyways. It's our first angel deal. This is technically going to lower our damage, but I think it will increase our damage after. After we leave the room. I've had issues with this item before. Oh, um, if I die now, I'm going to be very, very miffed. That should not have hit me even, even slightly. Okay, good. We had golden on that front. And yeah, there you go. I get a massive damage boost after the fact. Nice. Okay, so we'll take GMO corn now. Just because this can teleport you, so... Gotta be careful with it. Right, so... Now we'll go and... Reroll this. Which we get another binky, God damn it. Uh, that's gonna happen a lot from now on, unfortunately. What we need to do is we need to get another item that takes over binky, but... Because of the, how difficult it is to charge this item, that's not gonna happen super often. But yeah, the 7 mark thing's glitched. It's meant to set your damage to 7. Um, and that's it. It's meant to be kind of a bad item. Uh, which is, like, fine. Pools are meant to have bad items in them. Um, but for some reason, it's kind of bugged where it sets your damage to 7. And then after you leave the room, it just adds 7 to your damage. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of doesn't work the way it should. Have we seen our shop yet? Where's our shop? Was our shopkeeper? I, th I think our shop was um, a thingy greed fight, wasn't it? Okay, so now we're just looking for secret rooms, which I'm a little unsure about. Um, a lot of places it could be, to be honest. We got a lot of bombs though. So, uh, snake, don't be a dick. Kind of a dick move, snake. There's absolutely no need for you to move that bomb. Don't do it again. Dude, where the hell is it? Dude, Snake, stop being a dick. Where the hell is it? Right, do Where the flipping hell is it? I'm really confused. I hate these floors where it's just like there's too much floor to like work out where the secret room might be. I think at this point we're kind of at a impasse here. I have, I have zero, zero clue as to where secret room could be at this point. I guess it could be here. There we go. Yeah, I was looking at this just in case we got a battery charge in here, but unfortunately not. I thought it was pretty unlikely. Okay, so unfortunately we're just going to take 120 volt and get out of here. It's not been a bad floor though at all. Just one wasted item, unfortunately. One wasted bit of potential. That's going to happen from time to time though. And we're good on that front. Cool. Let's go. Yeah, loaded dice. It's 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 got some it's got some potential issues later down the line, but for the most part, it's obviously pretty good. Um, no crane game in there, so we're not that asked about that. 
pills at the minute. I'm I'm just I'm in a point in my run where I just don't think I need them, so I'm not taking them. One twenty volt. While not very good for a character like this, it's fine for me. Get accidentally too close to stuff, I guess. Right, now this is one to reroll. See, this should give us spun. Indeed, it did. So that's a massive damage increase for us. Now, this is a changed version of Sister Viz, so I'm not particularly confident. Was that a dead one that was rolling around there? Was that dead Sister Viz just rolling? So that was that was good. And then the thing is, well, growth hormones is one that we can infinitely stack and it'll always be good for us. Like, no matter how many growth hormones we get, we're never going to be upset to see it. Because it's just more and more damage. It'll just keep stacking. And then, Santa Bombs, no thank you. Again, we're rolling deep on these. If we brick the machine and, and get a bad item, they can just load a dice it. Lead Pencil. Yeah, we've got Fast Fire rate. I think Lead Pencil's pretty good. If we didn't have Fire rate capped, I'd probably not go for Lead Pencil right now, but I think with Fire rate capped, it makes all the sense. Cool. Right. Step back this way. We want to go for our shop. Remember, our shop's pretty valuable too, because we can use loaded dice on our shop. Also, we've unlocked some shop items recently that are pretty good, like uh, red stew and stuff. So, we want to be checking out the shop regardless. Come on, I went the wrong way to the shop. That's annoying because I've just wasted a bunch of potential charges. Not what I wanted to see. I am actually going to go back and destroy the sacks in here because they can drop worm trinkets. And we are at the point now where our current trinket is useless. So worm trinkets are pretty good to find. Especially if we get brain worm, which I don't know if it can drop from these sacks, but I would assume it can. This is, this is risky. So I either go loaded dice to get two items. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do loaded dice. We get that, which is more damage. And we get another GMO corn, which is more damage. It did give us a tears down, but we've got high enough tears that it didn't actually do anything. And we'll grab a battery charge there as well. Cool. Damage is sitting very, very pretty right now. Oh my god, beautiful. Beautiful damage. Now, we don't really, it doesn't really matter which way we're going here, so I guess we go for this one. Now, we still, at the minute, need another angel deal, which we haven't had. Which I'm surprised at, but yeah. We're still waiting on another angel deal right now, so... Our ultimate goal... I probably should have taken Dark Path, actually, just in case we didn't get an angel deal. But I suppose I can go the Hush route, maybe? Hmm, maybe not. I'd have to be very quick if I was going to do Hush. I did... I did not see that. Bollocks. Justice. Didn't see that was a spiked chest, did I? Right. We're going to rewind this and carry on with the run, but just know that I am dead now. <laughs> 
There's one of those runs. One of those runs. It's like I, I keep explaining myself. I realize at this point I don't need to. Everyone that's watching completely is fine with me doing this and completely accepting. But I always have to justify it for myself. At this point, it's kind of like, yes, I should be dead for a stupid mistake. But this run's really cool, and I want to see where it goes. I feel like it'd be sad to see this run disappear to a very, very silly mistake, like not noticing a mimic chest. So we're going to continue this run on and just pretend never happened. For entertainment purposes and for enjoyment purposes for me. So yeah, this run would be sad to see go. Really enjoying it. The loaded dice stuff is, uh, the loaded dice shenanigans are pretty fun. But yeah, if I get completion marks out of it, it is what it is. Like, we, we've, we've done a legit dead god before. I don't have to prove anything to myself or anyone else. I'm just playing this to have fun. And I feel like you guys are going to enjoy the video more if it doesn't abruptly end for no reason. <laughs> no good reason, should I say. Oh, chill out, bud. We do have good old Skolex here, which I'm not particularly enthused about. But bleeding will affect Skolex in good ways. Bleeding will do a lot to good old Skolex. Here you go. Hey, it's Leech 3, baby! Okay, good stuff. I think we're over the over the binky um pump. Okay. Don't like this. No thanks. I'm gonna say, if I die in a room, I die in a room, but I don't want to die to something stupid like a spiked chest. That's just boring. I, di I, I actually did have a mod that removed spiked chests while playing as the Lost, but I, I have it enabled, uh, disabled at the moment because I just kind of forgot to re-enable it when I started playing the character again, so technically it shouldn't have happened anyways. See, there's another binky, unfortunately. Our curse rooms have been pure shit recently, haven't they? Technically, I should open that in case there's a battery in it. Go, my leech army. Ever forward. Onto your destiny. I didn't actually mean to do that. I was looking for there was a secret room there, but the secret room was here all along. Snake, if you hit my bombs one more time, I'm actually going to throw up. The offense you caused me is ridiculous. Also, opening a golden chest and only getting a penny and a half heart is criminal. At this point, there's so many things I'm just not even picking up because I just don't need them. Dude, the tinted rocks on this floor are ridiculous. What is going on? Why do I never get this when I need them on the womb? There's so many times I've been on the womb and been absolutely desperate for some HP. This time it's like, lol. Here's the most HP you've ever seen in a character that can't do anything with it. What the hell's this guy doing? Little hippity hopper was going crazy there. Technically, Loader's Dice is ready again, but with Curse of the Maze, I have no idea where I'm going, and I do not want to go back and try and find that Curse Room. Just take too long. Especially now that I'm so close to the boss. What on earth? What on earth? I've never seen this attack before. Oh, yes, I skipped the last phase. I was very worried about that for a hot second there. Dude, what's the deal with the devil? What's the deal with the devil? Why why am I getting devil deals here? What the hell's this? So 
So now I can't get either completion mark because I don't have my goddamn key piece. I'm very tempted to cheat again. Right, give me another one of those. Yeah, okay. Give he piece two. Uh, what fuck? I've already got key piece two. Key piece one. Why would it do that? Right, yeah. Game's annoying me. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> This is a double cheaty run. Should be dead and shouldn't have the key piece. But come on, I didn't do anything to warrant the game giving me um, giving me so few angel deals there. Like, I didn't get hit or anything. Like, what, what, what's the deal, game? Why you, gotta, why you gotta play games with me? Why you gotta be this way? Uh, throw is pretty fun for us here. Also as well, no shade at anyone in particular, but other Isaac YouTubers cheat as well. They just don't show it on camera. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing, but I'm just actually <laughs> honest about it. We got our loaded dice ready for whenever we need it. I've got so much sacrificial blood about, but I'm just like not interested at the moment. I am one hit off death here. Let's be careful. This would be a legitimate death if I died there, so let's be cautious. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I do not like this. Yeah, didn't, was not a fan of that. Oh god. Oh, the fire travels through rocks. Okay. This has become rather sketchy. That was close. That was even closer. Oh my god. Give me that butterfly. Holy hell, that was close. Holy hell. Ooh, flat file. I mean, flat file's not really that good for us, but it was saved us earlier, I guess. Very nice. Right, good old little Isaac. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. Easy. Easy. Right, we'll see if we want to pair throw slash um, loaded dice any of these bad boys. So far, very much yes. Um, technically, that'd break cap, but I think I'm just going to pair throw all of them. Almond milk? Hmm. Almond milk's a weird one. I do very much like it, but I think it might break our build. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do that to the rest of them. And then I'm going to try and get some charges so that I can redo those dudes. Because I don't want more binkies, thank you. Continuum is fine by me. More Wigglies. Another snake type guy. This is legitimately awful. This might be the death of me. I don't know how I didn't die there, but... Okay, I think I'm just going to sit this one out and let uh, let the game organize itself here. There's still an enemy alive? Okay, there you go. That was awful. Don't know how I'm alive. What on earth? What, <laughs> what a room. Hey, big fella. Still don't really know how this guy works. Still figuring that guy out. Almost got a charge here. Fates reward, fine by me. A another leech. 
and more growth hormones. Honestly, we're getting so many chests at this point, it's probably worth keeping this going a little bit, although the risk of death is high. I can't help myself. Another loaded dice charge, ready and raring to go. Beautiful. Nothing for that room. Yeah, having the fires there is rather nice here. This I can't even tell what's going on at this point, so continuum and stuff, just take it away. Okay, here's the actual boss. Lil Spewer, give me another snake boy. Okay, last few rooms to get some items, and then we are good to go. Probably not going to get another loaded dice charge at this point. Did get Tech X, which I think is probably a pretty good take right now. Especially with Continuum doing its thing. Got the D6 here as well if we want to re-roll something we get. Okay, last room over here is this big room. I think last room at least. I don't think it has any things coming off of it. Ooh, very sort of difficult room there, but luckily we were ready. I don't actually know if taking all these bloods is even going to be beneficial to us by the time we get back there, but I thought I'd do it anyways. Oh no, we did. We did. Nice one. Oh no, they're going to disappear while this is happening. Anyway, let's see if we can actually beat this guy now. Continuum's going to be pretty decent for us here, I think. Good, good. All my leeches. Don't throw a troll bomb at me, thank you. How are you not dead yet, dude? My god, how, like, how much health does that guy have? Okay. Yeah, luckily, very easy in those. Just careful of the brimstone if he tries to pop one of those off. There you go. I knew he was going to try and get one off. Normally, he does after that phase. He's in second phase now. Second phase is where things get a little bit difficult, though. Just a, just a little bit, because his attacks are insane to dodge. Luckily, I have this tiny hitbox from being really small, but also from this item. The butterfly item. So, it's plausible for me to weave in between things if I'm actually sort of cautious like that. I'm trying to get my leeches to attach to him, but they really just don't want to. This is all about staying as far away as possible. See, that that would, would not be possible without the butterfly item here. Also, these fires are breaking shots on occasion, which is quite nice. There you go, we got him. We'll see if we get to do a delirium here. We will see. Unfortunately not, but there you go, there's something else unlocked. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.